friends, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. So today is New Year's Day and as we are leaving behind 2020 and looking ahead to 2021, I thought that it would be fun to share some of my flute related goals that I have for the coming year. So I'm not really one to make resolutions anymore. I used to be very into the whole New Year's resolutions, but since I am a recovering perfectionist and I'm really trying to get out of this habit of black and white thinking, I try not to really make resolutions anymore. But I do like to set some attainable goals for myself, and of course I know that I can do that anytime during the year, but I thought that I would set some for the coming year ahead. And of course I thought that I would share them with all of you. Okay, so I've divided my goals into two sections. One is more flute playing related, and then the other one is more social media related. My first goal is to keep up with my sustainable getting back into shape practicing plan. For those of you who didn't see my videos during Vlogmas, I'm trying to get back into shape and get my technique back after not really doing any technical exercises or any real practicing for several months. I started off by only doing 20 minutes a day of practice for a week and then gradually adding in extra minutes. I think the reason why this has worked really well so far for me is that I've made a very attainable, achievable, accessible goal for myself. I didn't start off by saying, okay, I'm gonna sit down and do five hours of practice every day. So I really wanna keep going with that and I would encourage any of you if you're trying to get back into playing your instrument, you know, just start with three or five minutes at a time and see how it feels from there. Just making that small goal for yourself of a few minutes is going to make you feel really accomplished and I think it might motivate you and inspire you to keep practicing. So moving on, goal number two is to enter a competition or take an audition. So for this goal, I've decided that it doesn't have to be some huge competition or some big audition, but I would love to prepare for something and to have some more external goal to work towards of certain pieces to practice and I think that you know no matter the outcome ever in any audition or competition I've ever taken or entered I've always learned from the process and I've always become a better player because of it so I would love to have something like that to work on this year so my third flute playing related goal is to record more repertoire I would love to make a nice high quality video recording of a piece of music either an entire piece or a single movement maybe something either for flute and piano or solo flute I think it could be fun to work with a videographer and just make something really high quality to post here for you all that's something that I want to do more of and I think that it will also give me some more motivation to start working on some more repertoire so if there are any pieces for solo flute or flute and piano that you guys want to hear leave them in the comments below okay so moving on to my more social media related music goals goal number one is to get back on my Instagram game I initially got my social media start over on Instagram and since focusing more of my energy on YouTube and putting more time into my YouTube channel, I've kind of let my Instagram content slide a bit. I think in the past I've tried so hard to curate my feed beautifully and to have, you know, all of the photos complement each other. And I think in a way, although I love to make that beautiful artsy aesthetic, that it's maybe held me back a bit from posting because I just want everything to fit into that one aesthetic. So I would like to just start posting again and not put too much worry or energy into making sure that it looks perfect. My next goal is to make and record more arrangements. I had so much fun putting together the Sugar Plum Fairy variation with some of my friends. That was one of the first times that I've really arranged anything and definitely one of the first times that I've arranged something from an orchestral score. So I would really like to do more of that and making things for all different arrangements of instruments and different combinations of flutes. There are so many pieces and even some songs that I think would work really well and I'm just excited to be super creative with that and bring some more of those to life. In that video, it was so fun to play together with my friends virtually, and I would love to do more of that and get some more of my friends involved if they're willing. And I would also love to collaborate on some videos with some other YouTubers. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions of people that you want to see me work with, leave that in the comments below. And my final goal for 2021 is to make more merch. So if you didn't know, I have some flute life hats available in my Etsy shop and at this point there's only like two reviews over there and both of them are from my mom. Thanks Jane. We love a supportive flute mom. 
but I would love to reach some more of you guys. And I know at one point someone had suggested that I make some shirts or sweatshirts just because that they can't wear hats at school or that, you know, the hat maybe isn't the most versatile thing. So I do have a few other things in the works. I do already have a new t-shirt design and a new sweatshirt, which I'm really excited about. But I also have even more apparel designs that I'm working on and then some other like fun accessories such as stickers that you can put on your flute case or instrument case or a water bottle, laptop, anything like that. And then I'm gonna be working on some more accessories. So I'm really excited to keep working on that as our flute life family continues to grow. So there you have it. Those are some of my music related goals for 2021. Let me know in the comments below if any of you have music related or non-music related goals for 2021. I think if the past year has taught me anything, it's that you can't really plan too far into the future. And at this point, I'm just trying to take it one week, one day at a time but hopefully every day I can do a little something that's going to help me on my path to achieve these goals by the end of the year so thank you all so much for watching I hope that you had a great holiday and that you're all staying safe and healthy and I'll see you all in my next video